Hey, I'm Shayna and I'm back with a rant. This is regarding Married at First Sight, Nashville, season 16, I believe. Decision day and the rest of the days and the days and the days. Y'all know the last day for this season is June 28th for the reunion part two. Like, I try, I try, y'all. And I'm not going to just let it go all the way together. Like, if it's all together, just end it right here. Let's look at the schedule. <laughs> Remaining Married at First Sight episodes. Season 16, Nashville's with the Act. May 17th, Decision Day Part 1. May 24th, Decision Day Part 2. Since when? When, where, how? I've been watching... All 16 seasons, I've been watching since season one. When season one first came out, I watched it live, okay? Not on Netflix or Hulu. I watched it when it was on. Never have they ever had Decision Day broken up in two parts. And y'all picked the most boring season. Y'all possibly, y'all have, this pie was like one of the worst seasons ever. And y'all want to break it up? Be for real. Be for real. May 31st. First dates and swapping mates. I don't know. June seventh, last call for Music City. What are we? What are we talk? What? June fourteen, cast tell all. Previous seasons, them seasons over with. We don't want to care about it no more. End it. June twenty first, reunion part one. June twenty eighth, reunion part two. No. <laughs> then y'all gonna give us a break and come out with another season? No. This is not what we want. We don't like it. At least a lot of us don't. If you do like it, let me know why in the chat, please. I I need some understanding because I don't understand. (sighs) Let's get to these decisions. Eris and Jasmine said no. Um, I thought I wanted Eris to go first. I know some people didn't want him to go first. It was glad she went first. I wanted him to go first. I just wanted to hear. I think they were saying a lot of people felt Jasmine's answers were based off of what she thought Eris answer was going to be. I think Eris answer would have swayed depending on Jasmine's answer. I think if she would have said yes, I think he would have said yes. Now would they have lasted? Probably not. Would have worked out? Most likely no, but I think that he might've said yes. If she said yes, I do. But then he got a little snappy at the end talking about when she said, you know, this is not what I want for a husband. I know I'm a bad B and I'm a, you, this ain't it. I want more. I, 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 I'm choosing me. <laughs> and he was like, "Oh well, uh, I do self love, and I hug myself every morning, and all that, and all that." And you still act the way you act. <laughs> okay, all this hugging in the mirror. What are you bringing her down for? And she don't love herself. Like you had to go out like that. Any woman who would date air seriously at this point, this man is forty years old. Honey, whatever you get, it's on you at this point. It's on you. We ain't going to feel sorry for you because, I mean, you can't deny this footage. He said it. Ain't no editing it. All this, hey, that's how they edit it. You said it. Okay. Ain't enough editing in the world. This is who you are. Okay. I believe it. Um, I'm glad she said no. I'm glad she did because it was, she, my sis was going down bad in a couple of them episodes. I'm like, what are you hanging on? He held my hand. Are we really praising crumbs? Ooh, we, I'm so glad this mess is over with. Jasmine looked beautiful all season long. She'll have no problem, you know, meeting her king, okay? And she can thrive and be the queen. She already got the tiara, okay? She will be good to go. Gina and Clint said no. Like, did we even need? Okay, anyway. <laughs> she and Gina was talking about she wish she would have put in more effort. I wish you would have put in more effort, Gina. You all this, you want him to do this and that, but what what have you done? In the, I, at least he cooked. I really didn't see her do anything. Nothing but complain. Nicole and Chris, they say yes. Where's the shock? We need a one couple. Like, imagine if we had a couple, a season where all five couples said no. They end up saying it anyway, later on, usually, here lately, <laughs> but on decision day, everybody say no. That is what it will take for these experts or these fake spurts, as some of us like to call them, to switch up what's going on. Or the producers or whoever's behind this nonsense, the writers. (laughs) That's what it will take for this madness to stop. We don't like this. 
and y'all are milking these scenes. Try. Don't break it down to an hour and a cut it back to an hour. Make it 10 episodes. That's enough. Wedding day, one day. Decision day, one episode. Honeymoon, an episode or two, and the rest of the time is the rest of the time. We don't need all this because we're losing interest. And then Love is Blind, that's going down the drain kind of quick. <laughs> so with this new formula, it ain't giving what it's supposed to give. Um, You know, Nicole's like, oh, I make issues when they aren't there, this and that. Let me know if y'all think they're going to make it like past the year. Let me know. I feel like they could, but I don't know if they will. Do we find out this living situation? Please let us know. Oh, no, we got to wait another like month or two to figure that out. <sighs> cursing and shack all episodes like oh i don't know what i'm gonna do oh i'm so undecided mm, will i say yes will i say no <sighs> this is why decision day should be one episode we can really just tack the decisions on to the reunion part one really truthfully <laughs> especially with a cast like this news fest so <sighs> cursing says yes shack him and a han is to be continued why this is probably one of the shortest reviews I've ever done. I could have did a short. Knock this down to one minute. Why do we need to see what's going to happen next week? Now, you know, next week looked like it could be good. But all season, they've been showing previews that looked like they would be good. And what episode was good? Which one? At first, we were appalled, stunned that we had a Chris 2.0, um, a.k.a. Eris. <laughs> we talking about season 12, Chris, okay? That kind of went away quick like see that the 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 oomph of men being just terrible and trash it lost its thunder after that season because then we had bow and johnny and that fiasco and then it's just back to back <laughs> like uh it, yeah it, it's old we want couples of root for we need another woody and armani we need something else we want couples to last and make it not by force <laughs> but because they actually are in love with each other. Are we going to get it? Is it ever going to go back to what it was? If it's not, I think we could just end it here. Let's not like wait for it to get so bad that people just stop. Let's just end it on a, on a high note and let it just admit that it just ran its course. I say all this to say I'm still probably going to watch next season. Will I review it? That's to be determined. Will we be back here talking about Decision Day Part 2? We might as well. We already got this far, but... Ooh, it just... I, when I think about like, mm, I like to review this and that, but I'm sitting here sleeping every night trying to get through Married at First Sight. It's painful. But if y'all gonna keep rocking with me, I'm gonna keep posting it. If y'all ain't, I'm gonna post something else, okay? I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. Me Speaking of that, check on my other content. It's usually more structured. I don't usually do like rants all the time, but... If you've been watching this season like I have, I know you feel my pain. You know where I'm coming from. We see each other. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.